This is question 30. College Board gives us some right triangles and asks us to find the x-coordinate of point P. Since this point is x equals 4, y equals 3, we know that the length of the hypotenuse of this triangle is 5. We also know that this angle here is in both the smaller triangle I've just drawn, and let's call this Q and this point R. So triangle OQR includes this angle, and triangle ORP includes the same angle, so they are similar triangles. In sim similar triangles, the ratios of corresponding sides are equal, so the hypotenuse 5 over the long side 4 equals the hypotenuse of ORP, which, since R is the right angle, the hypotenuse is the x-coordinate of point P, over the long side, which is the side adjacent to this angle, which is 5. Multiplying both sides by 5, 5 over 5 is 1, leaving x equals 25 over 4, which is 6.25, and you can find that on your calculator if you're not comfortable doing that in your head. College Board often asks you problems with similar triangles, and they're particularly fond of the 3, 4, 5 triangle I did here. If I didn't happen to remember that, I could have found the length 5 from the Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals little r squared, so that's 9 plus 16 equals little r squared, 25 equals little r squared, square root on both sides, little r equals 5, which is the length of the hypotenuse, and once you calculate that, you're likely to say, oh, I knew that, because that's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. You also need to recognize that if two right triangles, OQR and ORP, both share the same angle, QOR, they're similar triangles, so corresponding sides have the same ratios. Come back soon for our next video. With math, there's always more.